Hey guys, it's EF68, yes, you're along with. Wyatt EAS fan? Yeah, in this video we're going to talk about a issue that's been happening for about two years. That I know of. And, um, uh, this is the issue that's been happening and it's been bothering me for the past few years that, that KG, that, um, WXK41 has been going out for, for no reason. And, um, as, as, like, as he was saying, that they went out twice. Yes. Today, I know one was at 8 o'clock. I can't remember what the second one was. I think it was around at 1 o'clock p.m. Hang on, they, they went out at 1 o'clock as well? I think so. Because usually, like, if they go out, they go out, like, at 8 a.m., Cause it's a seven. It's it usually is at seven a.m. when I was used to it. Well, uh, it was seven a.m. when they went out before. Like um, when I was like used to this before. Like because then we switched. Eight a.m. They went out eight a.m. today. And then like the other one usually happens around like um from previous alerts the previous times I've gotten it um they it was usually around like eight twenty seven, and like during online learning. The, the, like, the transmitter would just go out, and then, like, I actually caught a transmitter outage on camera, apparently, because, um, you know, they've had that issue, and, like, so, as, like, he's, like, KG95 didn't go off the air. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't get why our transmitter is targeted, just like our Amber Alerts are. Yes. Like, like, our transmitter has definitely had severe issues. I think so. They they have se they had severe issues. Like, they even went out during a slight risk. Like, um, like a few minutes after the one serious thunderstorm morning, they just went out. And then, like, they came back on. I was like, oh, shit. Like, like, oh, shit, this isn't good. They had a day went out. Um, I had no way to get alerts. And then, literally, they ended up coming back on the air. Yes, as you see right now, nothing is flashing at the current moment. They're back on. But now, like, yeah, as you were saying, yeah, they're back on. Yeah, it it did rain today, so um, so yeah, yeah um, I I I cannot get those transmitter outages because um I have um I'm usually in school by eight a.m. But like um, as like like yeah, I got a new setup. Nice, that's cool. So, yeah, um, I don't know, like, this is why, like, I say MPX is better, or, like, NWS Chen, Twin Cities, they're better because they take care of their transmitters, and, um, Mitchell was saying about, like, the fact that lacrosse is the one that tones the high wind warnings. They are the ones that do, but it could possibly, because, like, um, KJY80, I believe, not, not all of Olmstead County, but I think, like, some parts of Olmstead County are covered by KJY80. What? what did you say? I said some parts of Olmstead County say? are covered by KJY80. Not all of it, though. Like, um... Make sure KJY80 does not serve Olmstead County. Oh, well, I thought one day I got a special weather statement on them, but, like, um... Wait, do you know of yeah. K... Wait, were you... Can you get... Wait, could you get KXI68... Oh, yeah, um, if, if you do end up running into that, especially at the time that they go out, definitely let me know, because, um, so this video can possibly be made to part two, but, like, because, like, we don't, um, I don't know if it's nationwide, because I have not gotten all nine transmitters at just the right time. We gotta be in a red trap for that, exper for that experiment, because, like, there's no way I'm gonna be running into every lacrosse station. What? What were you saying? For what? What? For what? Did you say?
I'm saying if like if like we are under a red drop, especially at the current at that time, um, we we could possibly see if it's if it's nationwide if we get if we get the stations, cause like so far I can get like um, my main station, obviously, and then I can get like KXI sixty eight and Black River Falls sometimes. Oh, he had to mute his microphone, so um, cause. I guess we'll continue going on here. Alright. Just remember to mute your microphone. There you go. So yeah. Um so like as as I was saying, it kind of has been bothering me for like the past few years they've been doing this and they haven't even fixed their issue. Now this is not like GSP where they actually ended up crashing Weather Pros 120. Yes, it crashes 120. Cause they've had they've had severe issues. What? <laughs> really, Flash? GSP. Clash? Um. 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 I think. Um. I'll send you a link to Weather Pro's channel so you can like check them out. There's a few of his videos that because he got like three tests and they all failed. Wow. Three tests GSP did, and they failed it. Yeah, so, like, um... KJ80, I know, has not been having issues, but... They do have... They do run into issues occasionally. Like, you know... They do... They get stuck. This is no other radio, KJ... Well, it does get stuck sometimes. But, yeah, but it's, it's not... I'm not too concerned about that, because, um... Because at least, at least it's not like full on static, and it usually ends within like ten minutes. So, um, but I can still get the station. Yeah, I need to get yeah, and your four hundred. Yeah, which is connected to an external antenna. No, actually, I switched my setup. I switched my setup to my one twenty to get KJ wiring. Oh, yeah, that that's good. The one twenties are good. Yeah. That's clear. That is so clear. This broadcast originated yeah. from the National Women's Division. Wait, is it flashing the NOAA logo? Is it flashing the NOAA logo? Yes. Oh. <laughs> so, like... Now, like, I'm going to explain some, a little bit of some history that I've had with, that I've ran into with the transmitter. So, one day, like, uh, a few, like, one day, like, um, like, I, I wasn't complaining that much, like, I was upset, but I know that one day, like, when they, they went out, like, during a storm, back in 2019, they did, and they were down for two weeks, but... That was actually a very good reason that actually is a reasonable because, um, you know, storms have strong winds and they knock out transmitters. But now, like, it's just really bad. Like, um, I've actually ran into a few issues during a blizzard, which the cars did not turn. Yes, one day they forgot to turn a blizzard warning. And then they literally ended up, they could have, they could have done their weekly. But then, like, um, so, you know, and then one day around, like, 4.45 in the morning, some someone, like, I mean, at the time, I didn't know how to turn off the 260 signal loss, okay? I called the National Weather Service. I couldn't sleep that day, okay? And they even went out um, back in September, like, um, but... Again, the tra- it was very intense lightning. Um, the transmitter was possibly struck by lightning. Yes, the- it was actually possibly struck by lightning. And then, like, now, we just have this daily. Well, not daily, but we got that weekly. And it's usually on Tuesdays. Um, I don't know why they're doing this. But, um, it has to stop, really. Literally, do you, 
you're you're just accepting the call saying we'll look into the problem and then you um wait what part were you talking about i mean the last part so like as i was saying like um they they like accept the call they say hello national will service across i'm gonna help you and then usually like I would usually call them every Wednesday, every Tuesday, actually, just to actually tell them because, like, hey, they're having issues. Fix it. Um, they said, well, look into the problem, and then, like, they should send technicians out. They should. Really, they should. They should send out technicians to even fix the transmitter. So, like, um, yeah. But, like, um, the, because the 519 I have on, because it's all, and the, the 519 and the 260 I have on their signal reminder, because it actually kind of lets me know that saying, hey, lacrosse is going out, and um, I need to let them know. I do that quite often, just to, like, check in with them, saying, I, ah, just so you know, like, check in, because I care about the transmitter, and, like, other people's safety with the transmitter, too. Yes, it's it's on Viola Road. Yeah, it's just about like five miles away from my house. Ooh, nice. Yeah, 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 I think, yeah, you live pretty close to Century. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, and like maybe you might go to Century High School. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, mail is a pretty big. I've been there before. I've been there for my band concert there. But, you know. But, like, yeah. Now, this is... Now, um... If you don't know, like, KW35 back in 2017, they were out for four years. Um... We've been out of service. Out for how long? Four years, um... KW35. Yeah. But um they're um, back to normal up, and probably Upton's fault. Um it's actually um if you actually if you actually watched SPC Cram for ten fifty six's videos back then, back in like twenty eighteen, the update for subscribers, um Yeah. Yeah, if you've seen that video, um yeah, that okay, that they were having issues with the United the States team, Coast Guard. Yeah. At the time it was probably using um Oh, yeah, Bayou X, um, 60. I think, I think also KZ Z37. And, and I think that's in, uh... Yeah, because he lives in, um... Moon the Moon. zone guard contraption part. Like, um, he actually put tinfoil over, like, his zone guard antenna. What? Yeah, like, he mounted it on the wall and, like, put tinfoil over the antenna to actually see if it, and it actually kind of helped, honestly. Wow. But, like, you know, so, but, like, yeah, so, anyways, this, the issue has been going on for as long as I can remember 2020 or 2019. However, I'm not sure with 2019 because I didn't have a weather radio in my, in this car setup at the time that actually had the thing that had the signal. That's a, that's where I got like when I invested in getting a nine nine one. Wait, uh, yeah, the, the yeah the nine nine one that I got the nine nine six, which is dead unfortunately. Um, don't ask how it died. Um, I was just messing around with adapters, and ended up frying it. So yeah, um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. If you want to say any parts to this video, you can go right ahead right now. Enough, um, don't. Huh? In a towel and fire up to K41's off the air without turning on the radio is 400. Oh, so, like, if you if you get, like, a weather radio that has, um, like, a signal reminder, now be careful because the 519 can just go signal loss, even though, like, the, even though lacrosse is still on. So the 519 actually kind of, like, runs into that issue. Um, you know, it's it's kind of normal. Well, Signal well, loose. Get one of the 
I'll get a lady with a single meter. Or, or... Um, the 120 also kind of does, but it doesn't have a tone, okay? Like, the 260, the radio without, the radio that has a screen but no same. Um, uh, I don't really, you, you could tell them when the NOAA logo is flashing, either it has bad signal or they're just off the air. And then also the cross actually... When it's flashing, it means it has poor signal, or, like, um, I don't really know, like, and a little bit of flashing is normal. Yeah, that's clear, so it, I mean, it will still decode things properly if it has that good signal. But, like, now, like, we must get into, like, the other thing now, like, but, what if it's just the radios? That are just going out and not lacrosse. Well, I obviously get reception in here. This is not like Clay Ranger 143 with his poor signal. I know he's he's had that. After a storm in, he he got poor signal. Oh, KGY 85. Yes, KGY 85 broadcasting from the Iredell County Emergency Community. What does not as Woco Station? I, wait, what? I thought... I, um, you know, do you know, it's local, like, Channel Tubes, this county is on Channel 3 in this area. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Um, WNG, um, 536? I don't know. But, like, um, yeah, um, so, like, usually, like, um, like, what... The recommended radio I recommend probably is the 991, because it could actually just, like, beep if it has a signal loss. But, like, don't, don't, if you get a 259, don't turn the signal reminder on. It is actually very annoying. It, it beeps numerous times, which is the thing that kept me awake at 4 a.m. one night. Yep. Now, um, so at the time, I didn't know much about it, and then, like, I just found a way to turn off the signal reminder. Yeah, but, like, if I have a radio that does have that thing for KJY80, I'll just turn it off because, well, um, because I do get clear signal on the 991, and it flashes signal loss, so it should probably go off if it has really good signal. Barely. Um, I think barely, because I, I, cause the reason why, like, um, so one day I just wanted more alerts. Just very upset that I only had one transmitter that I known, and that was mine. That was WXK41 at the time. Until I invested, until I started getting a second signal, which I was like, uh, I'm just going to turn some of these radios to different channels. Because, like, I wish, I mean... But then, like, I used to be able to get KJ with 80 downstairs. I, I could, but not that clear anymore. That's why during December 15th, I put the WX-150 in the window. It actually gets it really clear. During December 15th, during the moderate risk. But, you know. But now, um, I don't have much else to say. Um, this is EF6 EAS. Oh, lit! Art Fanatic WX signing off along with. Wyatt EAS fan. And we'll see y'all in the next time. Um, have a nice night, whoever is watching this. <laughs>